Hi, my name is Gavin Smith and I'm a Product Marketing Manager for the Radio Power Solutions team at NXP. Today I'm going to talk to you about our new 5G multi-chip module devices. We recently released these Airfast 5G integrated solutions for massive MIMO active antenna systems. The portfolio is comprised of multi-chip modules that include PA modules, which are two-stage LDMOS solutions with integrated Doherty combiner and 50 ohm input and output matching circuit. There are pre-driver modules. These are three-stage gas devices and also receiver modules, gas, LNA, and switch. And here is a look at all three solutions on one of our compact reference designs. Below you can see where we started over 25 years ago with traditional RF discrete transistors, moving towards RFIC offerings in the future, and now we also offer our compact multi-chip modules. NXP has been a key piece in the dynamic communications market. Here's a look at the history of communication standards. In the 80s, we had man-to-man -man communications with voice only 1G. Moving along to 2G GSM in the 90s, we had digitized voice with man-to-man -man communications. When 3G hit in the early 2000s, it brought about man-to-internet communications and further changed the world as we know it. 4G brought about improved speed and reliability with mobile broadband and began to pave the way for 5G where everything is connected and seamless. Now let's see how NXP is simplifying 5G by reviewing our product features, benefits for customers, and benefits for our carriers. First, our multi-chip modules are compact surface mount devices, enabling smaller, lighter, active antennas, and easier 5G base station deployments. Second is the fact that these are 50 ohm in and 50 ohm out two-stage solutions with integrated Doherty for fast time to market and tackling the challenge of servicing several bands in various regions. We integrate the complexity of the RF power design, enabling customers to focus on their innovation. Not to mention, these devices are pin-to-pin -pin compatible and can be dropped in across all bands. Third, these compact surface mount devices enable easier manufacturing and reduces assembly time. Lastly, these parts offer a high level of integration without compromising on performance. Here's a closer look at our products. Starting with the final stage multi-chip modules, these parts range from 3 to 5 watts average for cellular bands within 2.3 to 3.7 gigahertz. They are 28 volt two-stage solutions with integrated Doherty. As mentioned, they are 50 ohm input and output with around 38% PAE. They are housed in a compact 6x10 millimeter squared plastic package. The driver has an average power of 29 dBm and is three stages offering 32 dB gain. They are 50 ohm in and out and rated for 3.3 or 5 volts. These are a combination of gas and SIGI, housed in a compact 4x3 millimeter squared package. In red you can see the RX front end module, LNA plus switch. This is 50 ohm in and out with a noise figure of 1 dB. Gain is roughly 33 dB and it is also gas and SIGI technology. It is housed in a compact 6.2x6.2 millimeter squared plastic package. As you can see, we offer reference designs with all three devices on a compact 38 by 57 millimeter squared board. To foster enablement and fast time to market for our customers, we offer devices, reference circuits, and reference designs. We have a reference circuit for each of the finals, so customers can evaluate the RF performance. The reference designs have the final driver and RX module on them, and we currently offer one covering 24 96 to 2690 and one at 3400 to 3600 megahertz. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information on our 5G multi-chip module products, please contact your local distributor or reach out to us directly. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos on our industry-leading devices.